Welcome to CAM Look, your daily dose of the Cincinnati Art Museum. As you know, each weekday, a member of the CAM family shares a work from our permanent collection and poses a few questions for discussion. We hope you'll check back each day at 10 a.m. for a new look and a new chat. Over the next several weeks, we'll be sharing highlights from our current special exhibition, Paintings, Politics, and the Monuments Men, the Berlin Masterpieces in America. Each week, on Thursday, we'll share a different aspect of the exhibition, on view now until October 3rd, 2021, in our Thomas R. Schiff Gallery and Balcony. So, a bit more about the exhibition. From the Nazis' exploitation of artworks to the protection and restitution efforts of the Monuments Men, art and politics were frequently intertwined in the World War II era. This exhibition focuses on the fate of 200 of the finest European paintings from the Berlin State Museums that traveled to the United States soon after the end of the war and were exhibited at 14 museums across the country before returning to Germany. Longtime Cincinnatian and supporter of the arts, Captain Walter Farmer led the Monuments Men's protest against the painting's controversial transfer from Germany. Featuring paintings that made the journey, Alongside artworks and historical material from the Cincinnati Art Museum and other lenders, the exhibition delves into the complex role of artworks in a time of social upheaval and war and highlights the importance of tracing the movements and uses of cultural treasures. Today, Peter Bell, our curator of European painting, sculpture, and drawing, will be sharing section two, the Berlin Masterpieces in America. In November 1945, the Berlin 202, 200 paintings from the Kaiser Friedrich Museum and two from the Alta National Gallery were shipped from the American zone in Germany to Washington, D.C. by military transport. They included works by some of the most famous old masters, including Botticelli, Jan van Eyck, Titian, Rembrandt, and Rubens. For two years, the works were stored at the National Gallery of Art. In 1948, President Truman's administration decided it was time to return them to Germany. But first, they were put on public view at the National Gallery of Art. The six-week exhibition drew almost one million visitors. Following this success, Congress legislated an unprecedented exhibition tour of 13 U.S. cities. Money raised from the exhibition went to relief agencies working with German children. To the public's fascination, the paintings traveled in military convoys and were guarded by military police. About a quarter of the paintings returned to Germany from Washington, D.C., followed by another quarter after the Boston exhibition. Across the country, masterpieces from the Berlin Museums became one of the first blockbuster exhibitions, drawing another 1.4 million visitors to regional museums to see the paintings from abroad. Exhibited in this section are four of the original 202, on loan from the Staatliche Museen zu Berlin. Alongside them are works from the Cincinnati Art Museum, by artists included in the 202, offering a sense of the breadth, significance, and impact of the 1948-49 exhibition. This painting, titled An Artist Studying from Nature, was made in 1639 by French artist Claude Lorrain, who lived from 1604 to 1682 and was active mostly in Italy. It is an oil painting on canvas and was given to the Cincinnati Art Museum by Mary Hanna. Its accession number is 1946-102. This horizontal painting, about 40 inches wide, depicts a scene set by a river or bay. The blue sky fades to pink, as if the sun has just begun to set. A large tree in the center bisects the painting's middle and backgrounds. To the left is a body of water with hills on the far shore, and a docked sailboat closer to us is being unloaded. To the right stands a stone fortress with two tall towers, and ship's masts rising just beyond. In the foreground, Groups of figures and pack animals move along a road that crosses the painting, leading to the castle. To the right, a group of three men sit by the road, near fragments of ancient architecture. Two converse and gesture toward the water, while the third sketches the landscape. Although born in France, Claude Lorraine spent most of his life in Italy, where he was renowned for his landscape paintings. River and coastal scenes, populated with classical architectural elements, and suffused with the gentle luminosity of sunrise or sunset, here in the foreground, an artist sits near ancient ruins, between a harbor and walled town, absorbed in his drawing. The vista opens on the left with boats and mountainous coasts leading toward the horizon. The Berlin 202 included Claude's Italian coastal landscape in early morning light, which, like the Cincinnati painting, depicts an idealized view of the Italian countryside. That painting, and two works by Nicolas Poussin, 
vividly illustrated the Arcadian pastoral tradition of landscape painting in the 17th century.